Kung nasa Amerika ka at ikaw ay nao-homesick, always remember na hindi ka nag-iisa <laughs> dahil katulad mo, na homesick din ako. <laughs> Kaya, gumawa ako ng list para makatulong ako sa iyo. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Jackie from Jackie's Vloggies once again. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about yung mga bagay na pwede mong gawin or pwede mong magawa para hindi ka ma-homesick masyado. I've been here in America since February 1st of 2018 at oh my goodness, naranasan ko na yata lahat ng dapat kong maranasan. <laughs> yes, pwede ka magtrabaho, right? Pero pag wala ka pang employment ID or adjustment of status or whatever, hindi ka pwede magtrabaho. So, stock up ka lang talaga sa bahay. And in my case, kasi we're not able to apply for our adjustment of status or apply for an employment ID kasi we have some financial issues at that moment or at that time. And that is why I'm gonna show you guys what I did to overcome my homesickness. Homesickness. <laughs> and now, let's start with the list. The first one, and this is very, very important, is to talk to your family members. May mga times na maaaring mag-iyakan kayong dalawa kasi sobrang namimiss nyo yung isa't isa. Pero darating yung oras or darating yung time na mawawala yung lungkot and it will just all be replaced by excitement. Kasi honestly, being out of your country or out of your comfort zone is actually exciting. Kasi this is a new territory, this is a new environment. So ayun yung lagi nyo iisipin. Isipin nyo lagi na this is a new adventure for me or something. And don't forget to talk to your partner or yung kasama mo sa bahay. Kasi the more that you shut your mouth, the more na wala kang sasabihin, the more na hindi nila alam kung paano ka tutulungan. So yeah, just talk to them. Number two, volunteering. Nung umatenda ko ng certificate, for singleness or something like that, COF. I can't remember the whole thing. Um, but yeah, there was a seminar and then they said na pag nandun ka na sa ibang bansa, maghanap ka ng community mo, maghanap ka ng mga bagay na dapat mong gawin or pwede mong gawin. And what sticks to my head is to do volunteering. So what I did is that naghanap ako agad ng place where I can do volunteer. And luckily for me, there is one here that is very close. It's a temporary care for cats. So it's called St. Sophia's Forgotten Feline. So basically, ano sila? Para silang center that take care of abandoned cats. I'm very grateful and thankful that ginawa ko yung pagwa volunteer because I've never volunteered in my entire life. I think the first time that I ever volunteered was when I was caught jaywalking and I was like picking up. Um, trash from the ground. <laughs> That's not even volunteering. I met a lot of wonderful people nung nag-volunteer ako. Somebody even gave me a bike so I can just ride that bike from home to the pet shop. I met Terry. She's like one of the most wonderful people that I've known. Uh, we went baking and then we went to um, a mall where we wrap gifts. It's, it's really awesome. <laughs> you can also do um, fostering. So basically, aalagaan mo yung isang pusa, dalawa, depende kung ilan yung pwede mong dalin sa bahay mo. Bibigay naman nila lahat yung equipment na kailangan mo, like food, like litter, everything that you need. You are not gonna pay anything. I fostered OP. He finally found his um, forever home. And then I fostered two kittens that my me and my husband, <laughs> it was chaotic. And then we fostered Nari, but I was like, I cannot give him away anymore. So, what we did is that we adopted him. We paid the we paid the adoption fee and everything because he is now like really part of our family. You can always use um, your Google to search for places that is looking for volunteers, and it's very easy. If you find something that is near you, go for it. Because it's also a great foundation para makahanap ka ng mga kaibigan mo. Number four is mastering your cooking skills. So since na sa ka lang naman and you don't have a job yet at gusto mong makatipid, mas maganda kung mag-aral ka magluto or lutuin mo lahat ng gusto mong lutuin sa panahon na to. <laughs> yung mga ingredients kasi dito, sobrang mura lang compared to kung kakain ka sa labas. May, medyo expensive yung mga restaurant dito ha. Compared to kung ikaw yung magluluto ng sarili mong pagkain, mas makakatipid ka talaga ng sobra. Mag-aral ka din kung para mag... para mag... <laughs> Mag-aral ka rin kung paano mag-bake para kapag na-miss mo yung pandesal, you can just make one yourself. And that's what I did. <laughs> Number five is finding a community where you belong. So, Filipinos are everywhere, right? Like, kahit saang lupalop ng mundo may Pilipino. 
and if you become really really lonely and you're looking for like filipinos that you can hang out with that you want to talk with na makaka-relate sa or whatever find a community near you um you can always use facebook to find um communities that is near your area for example like gay one visas or filipinos filipinos in what state you are in for example like me filipinos in illinois filipinos in um chicago or something like that you can always do that unfortunately for me i never found any so for the last year and a half I never had Filipino friends. I've never had a Filipino friends here. The only time that I had Filipino friends or I met Filipinos that maybe I can be friends with is nung nakapagtrabaho na ako. Number six is practice your communication skills. Until now, I'm still struggling with my... <laughs> See? <laughs> Until now, I'm still struggling with my English communication skills. Feeling ko lagi ako nahuhuli when all of my co-workers were like talking or something. Minsan nga, sabi ko na lang, yes, yes. <laughs> Kaya hindi ko na naiintindihan, yes na ako ng yes. Like when I was a call center agent, kapag hindi ko naiintindihan yung customer, I was like, yes? <laughs> hindi ko na-expect na gagawin ko rin yun in real life. <laughs> There's a lot of times when people were like, hey, what you doing? How are you? Hey, what's up? Like even when you are walking, like sometimes hindi ko alam kung titigil ba ako para ikwento ko sa kanya yung buhay ko or kung ano nangyari sa araw ko or something. I use an app called um, Open Talk. Open Talk is an app that will let you talk to other people across the country like or anywhere in the country mostly yung mga nakakausap ko is from india or from southeast or middle east or something but it's okay because they are also like trying to improve their communication skills so basically para siyang nagtutulungan kayo nagtutulungan kayo on how you guys can um, improve your english or your yeah your language skills or something and if you're going to use an app like this make sure that you tell your partner about it because <laughs> They might think that you're cheating or something, so be aware. <laughs> Number seven is go for a walk and exercise. When I was in the Philippines, yes, I will go for a walk, but I will walk inside a mall, right? But here in uh, in the place where we live, ang sarap maglakad kasi the the air is clean, there's no traffic, there's no pollution or whatever. At saka walang masyadong aso, pero may times na muntik na akong habulin. Actually, twice na. <laughs> It's also important that you go for a walk in the neighborhood so that you can get familiar with the place that you are living. So, para kapag, alam mo na, kapag, for example, nalaglag yung phone mo or something, alam mo kung paano umuwi. <laughs> this is also a great time for you to exercise. What I'm saying is that since that you have that time, magpa-sexy ka, dai. <laughs> kapag naman sobrang lamig, for example, you're in an area na na nag snow or sobrang init naman or something what you can do is that you can watch youtube watch like zumba class or whatever or walk one to two miles while you're at home that's that's what i'm doing i also watch um just dance para ayun yung exercise ko sa youtube i don't actually need an actual wii or a switch to do that i can just watch youtube and dance along with the music watching netflix or playing games on your phone or any other consoles that you have is already given that's why hindi ko na siya inilagay sa list natin this is just the first part and dahil sa sobrang haba ng list natin on what you can do para maavoid mo yung pagiging homesick i'm just gonna divide this video into like maybe two parts para hindi masyadong mahaba yung video natin today. Thanks so much guys for watching this video and I hope that I was able to give you a list of what you can do para maaboy mo yung pagiging yeah. sex. If nakarelate ka sa aking situation at nakatulong ang list na ito para sa'yo, a like and a subscribe is super duper helpful. If may kakilala ka na na homesick, feel free to share this video to them. And once again, my name is Jackie and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!